Because of their unbalanced chromosomes, cancer cells are damaged cells and die spontaneously all the time. Most of the cancer cells that don't die on their own are easily killed the first time they are exposed to chemotherapy and radiation. Why is it then that chemotherapy and radiation rarely, if ever, cure people of cancer? Since radiation and chemotherapy kill all dividing cells, not just cancer cells, the simple strategy, as practiced in the United States, is to kill as many cancer cells as possible without killing the host. That's why the radiation and drugs must be stopped after a short time. Unfortunately, a million or more of the hardiest cancer cells survive along with the host. As most of us know all too well, those treated with radiation and chemotherapy suffer debilitating diarrhea, hair loss, and nerve damage, among other unpleasantness. But the biggest risk of this treatment is a severely depressed immune system that can lead to infection and death. There's more bad news. Chemotherapy and radiation are well-known carcinogens in their own right. But even I was shocked when I learned one in six new cancers is caused by chemotherapy. I don't know the figures for radiation. On top of all that, there's the inevitable problem of drug resistance. Unlike cancer cells, chromosomally stable normal cells do not become resistant to radiation and chemotherapy. Cancer cells are so chromosomally unstable that no two are, are identical. Among a tumor's billions of cancer cells, there is a range of sensitivities to, the, to all the drugs and radiation, from the most sensitive to the most resistant. As with everything else about cancer, resistance to chemotherapy has little or nothing to do with gene mutations. The high rates at which cancer cells acquire drug resistance are similar to the, ra the rates at which their unbalanced chromosomes change, which is about 10 million times faster than gene mutations. The shocking reality is that a complete course of chemotherapy ultimately increases the malignancy of the initial tumor. The surviving cancer cells are resistant to virtually all drugs and almost always return with a vengeance.